Hello viewers, Mr. Nyati, your presenter. I'm back again with uh, another video, uh, which is a continuation basically on metals. Before we look at extraction of metals, I thought we should first conclude the behavior of metals on uh, uh, the behavior of uh, metallic carbonates, okay, when heated and also uh, nitrates when heated. So in this video, I'm basically looking at nitrates and I went through the past papers I saw a question uh, GCE 2019 and what I've, one thing I've noticed for sure is that uh, the GCE past papers will always has have that uh, that uh, new approach to these things that's one thing I've noticed yes questions are repeated but mostly the GCE papers will always have that daunting approach and so you do well to make use of them when uh, revising and so uh, I request that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, share this video, and also leave a comment on the comment section. So let's get started. The question is actually in section C. Section C, uh, question uh, C, C1. Yes, question C1. Now, the question says, um, the equation below shows the thermal decomposition of nitrates pardon my appearance it's quite stained so i hope you'll be able to see this so the question the, the equations not questions below show the thermal decomposition of the nitrates of three metals represented by w x and y and we have been uh, informed that the, the w x and y are not their real chemical symbols okay so we have so that when you see them in the equation, don't get confused to say I've never seen W, X, or Y in the periodic table. So now we have uh, this W nitrate decomposing to W metal, nitrite, and nitrogen uh, ox dioxide. This is nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. Uh, X nitrate decomposing to X nitrite and oxygen gas. And also Y nitrate decomposing to Y oxide and uh, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. So now just this information we should be able to to decipher, okay, using the table below. Okay, so here is a table that I thought I should uh, come up with on metals, okay. So we have metals in the react uh, in the, the reactivity series here. We have potassium all the way to gold down there, and also we have also effect of heat on uh, its nitrates. Okay. So now, first of all, you need to realize that uh, sodium, okay, sodium and potassium being the most reactive metal, at least in the reactivity series that series that you are shown. I, well, that is learned in the 51-24 science or chemistry uh, we need to know that they decompose to nitrite and oxygen gas or to metal nitrite and oxygen gas so what does that mean okay you may have an equation like this you may have potassium nitrate it is the same case with uh, sodium uh, when heated this can decompose to uh, potassium nitrite nitrite and oxygen gas okay so you may have something like that and, uh, this should be balanced now yes okay so that's what it means you can also have sodium it's the same case sodium nitrate decomposing to sodium nitrite okay plus oxygen gas so this is what it means when it says these decompose to metal nitrite it should have been metal there metal nitrite and oxygen gas so this is what it basically means okay and so when you go to the equation or to the question the way the questions have been uh, the, the way these uh, metals w x and y they are nitrites the way they decompose will tell you which one is, uh, is either sodium or potassium so in this case you can see that this one decomposes to a metal this one to a nitrite so this one must either be sodium or potassium this so we can even say that uh, uh, 
this one x x from this we can say that x is potassium or sodium so we can say x is potassium now remember to always uh do this to potassium as no uh, the double t x is potassium so remember to always decipher okay try to enter into the details of the question so that you'll be able to answer properly okay because this is where people begin to guess but there's no need of guessing here you just have to make sure that you do the right thing by making sure that you try to relate that to the metals on the reactivity series so when we go again from calcium all the way to mercury we realize you realize that these the, the 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 nitrates of calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper and mercury decompose when heated to metal oxide nitrogen gas and oxygen gas so in other words when for example you are given magnesium uh, magnesium nitrate what you are going to see is a decomposition okay when you are given magnesium nitrate uh, what you are going to see is a decomposition to what is the the table saying to metal oxide which is magnesium oxide plus nitrogen dioxide gas nitrogen dioxide gas and oxygen gas so this is what you are likely to see okay and if we are to balance this equation make sure that uh, we put uh, about if we put the two here and the two there okay so we have two four then we put a four here this equation must be balanced to So the equation is balanced. So this is what you are likely to see. That is just an example of magnesium. So what it means is that if we go to the equation, which one decomposes in this manner? So you realize that uh, this one to the metal, this one decomposes to metal oxide, Y oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. So Y can be anything here. So let's pick the one we have used in our example. So we can say Y. Y is magnesium. Y can also be zinc. Y can also be iron. Let's know that. Okay. Then uh, we, we move on. On the table again, we are told that uh, silver and gold, silver especially, decompose to give a metal, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. What does that mean? It simply means that when you are given uh, silver, for example, silver nitrate, this decomposes to silver metal. Okay, nitrogen gas, nitrogen dioxide gas plus oxygen gas. That's what it means. So, put a two here, put a two here, and a two here, and the equation will be balanced in that order. Yes, six, four, two, nitrogen two, two, silver two, two. Yes, so that's what it means. For these that are not reactive they decompose to give metal nitrogen gas and oxygen nitrogen dioxide gas and oxygen gas so this is what would be the case so we go back to the question again we check you've seen that w decomposes to metal nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas so this could be silver silver this could be silver so we are saying that uh w is silver okay so now now that we have done like that we go to the question what is the question saying now that we have seen 
W being silver, Y being either magnesium or zinc, then X being potassium or sodium. So let's go to the question. The question says, right, I mean, which one of the three metals is most reactive? Well, X is the most reactive. Why? Because, because we are using the information which is here to come up with answers. This is what we are using. So we say, question uh, C, 1, A, question A, uh, which one, A1? A1 says, uh, which one of the three metals is the most reactive? Well, we are from, from what we have gathered, we have gathered that uh, potassium is equivalent or is represented by X. So we are saying X. And why? What could be the reason? Because, because it decomposes to uh, nitrate nitrite and oxygen gas okay because the reason is that it's nitrate okay it's metal nitrate or it's nitrate decomposes to metal nitrite and oxygen gas that is the reason why so you gain your mark for this and another mark for this because there is two marks allocated to that we go to Roman numero 2. Which one of the three metals is the least reactive? We know that from that... Uh, 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 from that explanation on how we have tried to find out which one is which, we realize that the least reactive is silver. Why? Because its nitrate decomposes to one metal nitrogen gas and also oxygen gas so the answer so in the reaction that we've been given because uh, w is is the least reactive metal why because it's nitrate decomposed okay remember there was decomposes here it should be decomposed because we are using past tense after observing the reaction so decomposed to metal nitrogen gas and the oxygen gas so those are the answers we move on to question b question b says which one of the three metals is likely to be sodium well we we tried to assume we assumed that x is either potassium